you know, it's obviously grown. It's, it's a much bigger community uh, than it was when we got here in 98, 99. It's a much more diverse community um, than when we got here in 98, 99. And I think both of those things are great. I think they're great for the community. I think they're great for us as a ball club, uh, as an audience to draw from. So I think, you know, just from a general community standpoint, uh, getting bigger and more diversified would probably be the, the biggest things that I would notice. Just seeing how the area has grown uh, for rooftops and businesses, but then also Austin, you know, downtown Austin, has driven all of that Central Texas growth and seeing Apple come and seeing, you know, Amazon come and some of these other people that, you know, high tech companies that are setting up shop. Uh, the airport was not where it was when we started. It was right on I-35 at Airport Boulevard, just north of UT and moving out to Bergstrom and watching that become a reality. Um, there have been a lot of changes and over the years the Round Rock Express has been a constant. Well obviously when the stadium was first built there was nothing out on 79 where we are. I mean it was, a, it was basically a, just fields and just, just to see the growth like towards Hutto and Taylor and all the houses out there and the toll road coming in, um, just the growth in itself has just been phenomenal and for us to be kind of in the middle of all that is, is, has been a fantastic experience. I was uh, on the city council when we bought the land surrounding Del Diamond, which is Old Settlers Park. When we bought that in 1985, people said, why are you buying a piece of property out in the middle of nowhere? People are never going to drive out there. Why are you putting a park out there? But there was nothing on that side of town. I mean, literally, once you got past, you know, kind of, you know, middle of May Street, there was, there was nothing left uh, out there. So the amount of rooftops have really changed. Uh, the road structure, you know, 45 wasn't there, 130 wasn't there, um, you know, all of the, the, the new roads going up to Georgetown. Well, one thing, we're in a growing area. We're one of the fastest growing cities and one of the fastest growing counties in a state that's gaining population. And, uh, and, and that's this product is, is what makes people want to come. You know, they'll come one time and if it's not a good product, they're not going to come back. Here, you know, it started with, with Jay Biller and, and being fan friendly, you know. You walk in here and people, the, the, the ushers, the ticket takers, the, the, the concessionaires really truly act like they, 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 they want you, they're, they're glad that we're here. And as long as they keep that up, that's, that's very important. You want to feel welcome and they do a great job of making people feel welcome. Uh, people that have never been here before leave talking about, you know, golly, I, you know, it was a great experience. Well, uh, I don't think you could have a better place uh, than Round Rock, Texas to have a minor league baseball stadium and baseball team. Uh, the city really embraced uh, the Round Rock Express and a few years after we got here, uh, launched their Sports Capital of Texas campaign. And I think that just speaks volumes to the support that the city itself, the city council, uh, as well as all the uh, members of the community have, have given uh, Round Rock. And so the fact that we have 25 youth baseball fields uh, right behind our outfield fence and the city continues to put money into the Dell Diamond as well as all the parks and facilities uh, in Round Rock. It makes it a great place to own and operate a professional baseball team. Well I think when you think about the city and the growth that we've experienced in this 20 year period has been phenomenal and I don't know that anyone uh, expected uh, that growth at that level uh, in that period of time. And so it's been fun to watch and, and see how the city has handled that, and I think they've done a good job. And not only just Round Rock, uh, but the surrounding communities uh, have experienced that kind of growth too. And, and so I think that's why uh, Central Texas is really the destination for a lot of people wanting to live here. Uh, Nolan and I drove through Mr. This is Mr. T. Lander's farm, and we drove out here, and, and you could see the ballparks up uh, you know, on top of the hill, and, and Nolan said, "This is where we need to put it." Since that time, you know, the subdivisions have moved east. Uh, Ryan Rock has probably doubled in population, and, and uh, it's just, it, and we've we've become a more complete city. Well, obviously, the the, the expansion of the quote city, as we, we look at it. Uh, has affected it, but I think the thing you noticed is, is the surrounding areas. Uh, uh, there are there are areas that you used to drive through, and there would be zero homes, and now it's a lot of homes, a lot of buildings, a lot of schools, uh, a lot of new hotels. Uh, that area has just expanded dramatically, and in doing so, uh, it's uh, 
been a great addition to the ballpark. It'll always be a village to me, even though it's over 100,000 people now. Uh, and, and the village aspect of it is what makes it what it is, because people take care of each other and, and, uh, and it's just a homey kind of feel to, to the place. Um, of course, Highway 79 was nothing but a pathway out to, to get to Taylor. When, when we started and now you know you got the 130 tollway and all the growth from it and the, the hotel the Kalahari's going up we're going to be open in a couple of years and that's going to that's going to just make this place boom even though we've got the area's gotten bigger and, and, it's, and it's more congested i still feel like it's a little bit of a, a country type feel out there you're, you don't feel like you're in downtown austin or or downtown san antonio you still feel like you're out there in round rock which i think you know is, is a nice just great place to live and work. Uh, we had an interview probably after the first season and, and you know if you look you know turn on ESPN if you look in USA Today if you read Baseball America you're going to see the name Round Rock and that's that just it's a sense of pride that not too many cities in the country have that identity like we have. I think the Express has had a great impact on the community. Um, you know when you have a chance to see these players and develop relationships with players uh, that, that leave the Express and in, end up being impact players in the big leagues, whether it's you know, knowing Roy Oswalt when he was you know, 21 years old and then getting to follow his career, um, so many of those guys, Hunter Pence, that, that we had an uh, opportunity to watch play at the Dell Diamond and then go to the major leagues and become a superstar or an all-star, I think that uh, is really a neat uh, experience for youth baseball players, for families, and for sports fans in general. And I think it has a positive impact. The other thing that, that really has had a positive impact on Round Rock, and I think Charlie Culpepper said this best, is you know the Dell Diamond has become Round Rock's front porch. And it's where people go to socialize and to, to see their friends. And uh, it's really rewarding to be in a business where you get to help create memories like that. I hope that you know we've kind of helped Round Rock develop its own identity by, you know, the Round Rock Express are, are very well known. We've been in, this is our 20th season, obviously. And, uh, you know, people all over the country now know who, where Round Rock is and the Round Rock Express. I mean, obviously Dell was there before us, but I think the combination of the Dell Diamond and, and the Round Rock Express um, has really given Round Rock its own identity outside of Austin. You look at today, you know, when I look at the relationship that our club has and specifically led by Chris Almendares and Tim Jackson, the relationship that they have not only with the mayor, with the city council, with the representatives that we deal with on a daily basis uh, that kind of run and, and operate the sports facilities here, not just Dell Diamond, but the, the multiplex and the sports uh, facilities. You know, that relationship, I think, is more diverse and, and better now maybe than it was 20 years ago. Those relationships are key um, because we are partners with the city. Um, and this, the, the Dell Diamond is not, is not the Ryan's venue, it's the city of Round Rock. And so we take that very seriously as, as custodians of the venue and uh, as representatives of the city of Round Rock. And so we take those relationships um, very seriously. And so we want Dell Diamond to be something that not only the city council and the mayor are proud of, but uh, the entire, um, you know, all the citizens of Round Rock as well. The one thing when I started this that I wanted to do and I would tell people is I'd say, look, if we can become a fabric of summer, we've become successful. When people say, hey, I'm going to Austin this summer, what are you going to do? I'm going to go by the Capitol, I'm going to go to Lake Travis, I'm going to go see the Bats, and I'm going to go to a Round Rock Express game. If we're in that conversation, then we've become a part of the fabric of Central Texas. And we are today. That's what people say. They go, oh, you're going to Austin. Go catch a Round Rock Express game while you're there. And so that makes me proud. And we were able to accomplish that through the hard work of a lot of dedicated employees and players and fans over 20 years, and it should be celebrated.